Yes, truly, I'm on Trinity, A.K. Juni Brahma. I'm here with Mahama. Saying, well, my name is Wade Everett Brahma, A.K. Trinity. Sometimes sing as Junior Brahma, and I'm from Kingston, Jamaica, singing reggae music and DJ chanting reggae music. I saw it say Trinity Cecil. Yes, I was born in Jubilee in Kingston, 1954. I'm a veteran, truly veteran. Yeah, I went to the gala. When a little baby, little boy, ran away from my parents from in the ghetto because it was a big motorcade and it was uh, so excited that it attracted me and my little friend them and we run to the stadium behind the crowd and get into the get walk on some people foot and some ladies dress and get into the stadium because you was a little boy you're not supposed to be there like that because you, you never have your parents with you so you know that was unruling to some people but we escape our home and try to be in the thick of things because it was excitement. Yes, yes, I went to Alpha Boys School when I was a little boy and then I left and got to Boy Stone, Cali Smith Drive in Trenchtown. When I was a little boy, because I usually sing, sister, the lady who is the, um, who owned the place, she's a Catholic, so she was a lot of the music school there. You sing and you play instrument. Yeah, so I was singing from when I was a little boy. I learned to sing on key, measurement and notes. Mm. So I involved in music from when I was nine, ten, gone. Mm. Yeah, very young. And so music was a part of me because I didn't like anything but music and cricket. Yes, I saw name VJ the dub, dub master and the next one named um Burning Spear, Simit the Weapon with me and Dillinger. And sometimes Dennis Al Capone I passed through with El Paso. Yeah, because the sound system was a stepping stone. If you can't DJ on the sound system for people to hear it, to so say a sound good, then the producer own DJ don't want to record you as a DJ. The singer have more chance. But it was very difficult for the DJ because you have to can DJ properly before you could go on a rhythm. Now of this nowadays these guys just go inside the shoot and hear the rhythm and jump on it and just do a thing. But we have to talk on keys and card and we have to have melody and the rhythm usually have changes in it. Now the the rhythm beat one card straight, so it's easier for them. They just go up on it and just we have to ch make changes. So DJ was more of a of a, of a art work. Nowadays it's just a normal thing and normality you would say because a guy can get up and just talk about the table and what the table and a lady is on the table. We have to talk something sensible like message. Mes message after after in the song or you tell a story. Like how three piece suit is a story. See me I'm a big fat thing and I'm a three piece suit and thing and I'm a diamond socks and thing. I'm a double pan big bed spring and me and a rubber cloth thing and me get sure I'm a get show me my diamond ring. That is a story. Mm. But these guys know not not speaking or talking about those things. They are talking about lady private and gun and money and badmanship and them thing they we couldn't talk that in those days. They would run us out of the studio. Yes, that is a part of it because the man them start do the tune them like them and make calypso and hip hop. And um Jamaican music is root rock reggae. You know, Jamaican music is not no jump up business. Of course our face changes. But if you change you cannot change for the worse, you have to change for the better. And if you keep on doing things that is not good then it must get stagnant mm -hmm. and that is what happened that's why we have to start make go back to the whole days where we start to make good music with melody and sensible music and music music with meaning that people can understand because sometimes people come and want to hear good words and message from the music to teach them a lesson like a bob marley said music gonna teach them a lesson 
this music not teaching any lesson. It does no moral. It's a man just get up and say anything and it is demoralizing the music. Mm. And make the ju the music don't have any um commanding no more and no no influence. So we need to get back to those days where we start to make back those music or else the music will die further and get into a hole or a corner and some music where some people are mixing a reggae music take over and yet is that is not reggae music because reggae music starts from in, in the ghetto, Trench Town, Kingston 12, Kingston 11, Kingston 13 and, and, and we were doing the music not for the love of money, we was doing the music because the love of the music. When we usually make music, most of us, even the music, musicians, we come out in a studio with a little Bible in our pocket, a little red Bible, small about so. And then we, before we go in the studio, we read the Psalms. So we usually take the thing serious. Mm -hmm. Because as Bob Marley said, if money will come, it, it will come. If material will come, it will come. But you have to do the work because by the sweat of your brow, you shall eat bread. But when the music come easy and you get lucky, you get back unlucky because you start the wrong things. Because you have some people who are lucky, but two of them doing, them get back salt, as we Jamaican would call it. Cross the start for them because you indulge in material things that they get wicked. You stop from do the right thing and start the wrong things and it mash up the whole of your, ma your moral. And then you get defeated and you start blame it on people mm -hmm. when it's your own, your own doings. So you have to understand yourself before you get kicked off the shelf. Mm -hmm. See? Right. Yeah. Give me a minute. Yeah. That song come after. Uh, that song don't come before. That's what they think and put it that way. But believe in it. What was the first song? It was for Eno, Eno's McLeod. Okay. Right. We do, it at, we, do, we, do, we do that song at Dynamic Sound. Hmm. Yeah, yeah but it Young Soul. It was a group of guys that just start in the business. And I believe in that. You must help people. Like how Yabi usually go to Willy Pop people to record and they didn't want to record for him but he because he didn't have no money all he have a little bike and they underrate him and i just go and vice a you and it's sometimes yabi you song i come out here like jesus dread and javenge and send them tune and do any the people they love because yabi is a spiritual person he makes spiritual music but that group now was a young group and they was trying a thing and nobody didn't want to Help them, so I said, try to well, just do a, a one song for them and you know get them on the road. Okay. You know, cause I'm a person believing in help people. I'm a queer man. I love help people. I feel good to see you eating, and it's me make you eating. Hmm. I feel powerful. I don't want to see nobody hungry. I believe in feeding people and quench people thirst. Hmm. So when I, I go to Jamaica, I have a lot of people who. I, I come back to where I have to walk and issue money. Sometimes people say, I'm, I'm, I'm a idiot, I'm a fool. Because one time a big producer in the business looked at me and told me it's too kind. You know, me, me I give her the interest for me I get and me must be like a crab. I ask him what that means. So when people go in on top of you, you must draw them down back. Like a jar down a crab bar and a bar. I say me not, and I don't go back around him again from that because he's teaching me wickedness. Mm. So I never go back around him. You understand? Because when people teach you that way, he's teaching you to be like the devil. Well, me and Dillinger grow together, you know. We go to the same school, Boys Town. Okay, right. Yes, and so he was in the business before me. And one night me and him playing a song together. And he saw my potential and he take me to Channel One. So when I went to Channel One, the, the bridge who owned Channel One, which is a Chinese man, hearing me giving the Linja lyrics and say, You is the lyrics man. <clears throat> and I say, Yeah, man. And the Linja say, I'm wicked, I'm wicked, you know, Jojo, because Jojo call him. And he say, Yeah. 
And him say, when well, name and say my name Prince Glenn and him say him don't like that name. So him go for your Bible and come back and pick the word Trinity. Because hmm. Trinity is, Trinity is um, a spiritual name. I think it's a Catholic right. Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost. But I am not ghost. I am uh, Father, the Son and the Holy One. I am the Holy One. I am not ghost. So I love that name because that name is a powerful name. You understand? Right. I appreciate um, that name and I give thanks if I find a good name from the book of, of, of that sent to us. Some people might say the Bible is not good. Some people say it is good. But me respect certain things in the Bible. Although they figure the Bible and terms it their way, some of some part but I appreciate the Bible because the Bible teach us wisdom, knowledge and understanding. So although it's man who written it but they get the inspiration from the Almighty. Yeah yeah Dillinger is my friend so if I go anywhere and I get in a job to do some special or a song I will mention in mention Dillinger and say I want to get some work for him. Because it's he who take me in the business. Is he who brought me in music business for I was a bad guy. Yeah, yeah I was a bad guy. I have appreciate because I love to speak the truth and him take me out of the badness and put me in music. So I appreciate that. Dennis Brown is my singer. I, I, I saw George Nooks, um, Prince Mohammed on a show, me and the mutual do show show. And I... I like, you know, what he's doing, and I go to Joe Gibbs. I was in Joe Gibbs' camp, me and Dennis Brown and Culture. And I tell the engineer, Bridge, you know, the name Errol Thompson, I say, I know a guy who can sing, you know, his name Jad Nooks. And I took him to a club, Tropics Nightclub, and he was on the stage singing. And I said, hear him there. And he said, go for him. And when I go for him, I hold him by him pants down and at the stage. And so when he done more, I see you. And I took him to Errol. And the next day, Errol Thompson advised him. You know, sing tune and then it's Joe Gibbs who name him, name him Prince Mohammed. He was George Knox, but the the man who owned the studio, Joe Gibbs, name him Prince Mohammed. No, yeah, he do a tune with me. I sang it. He's the one who changed my name because he didn't change it, but he said I must sing it, some song in that name. Because I was singing, Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Is that warm when she's away? And he said to me, say, wait, me never know so you can't sing Trinity. I'm say, I'm laugh. And he said, more record that tune tomorrow, but more I do it as Junior Brahma, your right name, because it's Brahma my name. Mm. And I sing a tune name, All Time Bachelor. Said I'm a All Time Bachelor. Una, a All Time Bachelor. Many a time I've been offered to walk down the aisle. But I never dance to the tune I do. Strictly not my style. I'm a girl watcher. I watch them go by. Here comes one now. Oh me, oh my. Cause I'm a all time bachelor. He, I have my camp and he have his camp. And then Joe gives usually, I usually find each song that me Joe gives. And in those days, producers, producers didn't like your, 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 your cross, like go to another camp. Hmm. And they will penalize you. Right. So you have to stick to the camp that you're in, that you're making the it from. And I didn't want to leave Joe Gibbs and go to Pablo, because Pablo didn't have the strength and the money like Joe Gibbs who could get me playing on the radio station. Hmm. So I have to respect my career and I have to work with who could help my career at the time. Uh, Pablo is fine, but Pablo, they don't believe in giving radio man money. They believe in make them song and make it the some conscious song and do it roots and work ethnic. They doesn't like spend money to promote nothing. But Joe Gibbs used to love control the radio station and he could promote me a lot more better. You know that. That's yeah. true. <laughs> yeah, he might be there because he was died, died after he finished the album. He died. Right. So the, the album doesn't come out as yet. 
it is still there. And do you think one day someone might release it? That if them can find the tape. Well, because he's not around to tell them that the tape is in there, it is there, it is left, right, or center. They have to find it. Well. Probably one day they will find it and mix it because it never mix. Oh, and it not is not on one tape. It is on different, different tapes. So you have to find all those tapes to come put it together. Yeah, I have song for myself that I have done for myself. A double album that never released. I have a album, double album from Yabiu that he gave to me before he passed. Because Yabiu owed me some money and he didn't pay me, so he gave me the album. It is on a, that that's King, that King Toby's mix. So I have songs with myself and I have double album from Yabiu that does release that I have at home as a, as a, as a treasure. No one there will, will release it or my daughter will, before I'm on deathbed, laying down as a whole man, I say to my daughter, they have a album and it, it is in that drawer, so you got to get it because right about now, I sign over everything to my daughter, so mm -hmm. she have the control over my, my stuff, you know what I mean? My mm -hmm. treasure, she gonna control everything. Okay. Yeah. Right. No, because when I was younger, Alton is usually be my singer. I can't forget all the places I live in Jamaica. Sunshine and light on the moon, on the mountain, on the mountain. Standing up so high. I can't forget all the things that I... Yeah, them songs there. Me love that. Me love Alton Ellis. I'm just a man who will break your heart if you break mine too. I like Alton Ellis. So I always want to do a song with Alton Ellis. Three-piece suit rhythm is Alton Ellis. I'm still in love. And Joe Gibbs done it over with Marcia Hakins. Right? So is Alton Ellis work. You know, but I sorry I didn't get to do a couple songs with Alton Ellis. I have done song with Dennis Brown, but not Alton. You know, and I have done song right now with, with Ken Boot. But I never done a song with and I done song with Delroy Wilson. Hmm. You know? But I never get to do a song with one of my favorites. And I have done song with John Holt. Oh, we never have no fuse with him, you know. But, you know, when you have a name and he's a star, people want to call your name for people to listen to them to get big. Mm. And I understand that, so it didn't bother me, because if I wasn't a star, I wouldn't call my name. He called my name to get fame. Mm. So, I saw the thing set. Yeah, he have to pitch pan somewhere where a bird pitch on a limb that he feel comfortable with. A bird is not going to pitch on a limb that make him want to fly away, want to find a comfort zone. So if a man come and call my name in a song, then me know so well then I'm doing well. Because if he's not nobody, nobody going to see you. Right. Not even call your name in a song, because who is you? Nobody don't know you, so no man never call your name. He not get no strength. No, 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 we never get to Kabaka. But I took my brother to Strudel. Mm. At Joe Gibbs, and the first song he did is was Better Than Trinity, Tougher Than Dillinger. Him start through a word too early, and him no breach, him never bust yet, and I meet him go to Strudel. So him start light the fire already, and him never have no matches. Him fire was low, but as my brother still, and we are right, him live in England. All right. Yeah, you know if you hear about Eastwood and Saint. They was on the green sleeve label. There was big thing in England. Okay. He lived there right now. Yeah. yeah, I worked with him after that with that tune near yeah, Mr. Greedy. And somebody but after that I you know sometimes some people work with you and then them get away and start work with other people. Mm -hmm. And who they working with not give him in that got he can't get no hit that way because they don't know to produce him. 
And so the chemistry changed. And he can't find that, that it sound or that spiritual vibes anymore because he jump ship. And because the, 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 the people, the person that you record with doesn't understand to record it the right way. You understand? Because it's not every man know, know to all the vibes. <clears throat> Even driving, you have someone can drive, but they drive reckless. And so people lose their life because of this guy. So everybody do his thing a little way different. So I just leave him, make him do what he's doing. And then it doesn't work. Because right. money can make you do wrong things. Because I'm, a lot of people influenced by money, even though they know it's not the right thing to do. But when they see this, low, this bulk of money, they get so and do wrong things. No. I'm not working in the arts right now. Right now I'm on the road doing tour and try to work work with I rights and do my thing. I can't bother right now because the youth them of today, I like some of them, but most of them is too hype. Mm. And I don't want to go in that lane. So I just stay in my lane and start dealing with myself and deal with the Almighty who give me the inspiration and give thanks. I don't want to mix up with some of them because some of them just to be careful who you entertain, you might entertain devil. Hmm. So I just want to be cool and I'm an admirer of them. I listen to some of them and some of them is sound good, but some of them is not good for the music. Right. They destroy the flower that we plant and grow in and bloom in them, come and kill it. Yes, man, this is Trinity as a jam roll. 876. Oh, nobody pick up no ticks. God, jam roll well slick. Trinity says so. Sin. And you hear me? Jam roll. We don't kill champion around here. Raise them. And jam roll is the champion. 876. Well slick. And we don't miss. Sin. <laughs> Rough. Thank you. Thank you very much.